What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Buzz Lady Quick One. Today I will be showing you how to apply ghost notes when playing to a praise song. Okay, so it can be any song anyways. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to groove with ghost notes. So what are ghost notes? Ghost notes are muted notes. Yeah, just a simple way of defining ghost notes. There is no big deal about ghost notes. Ghost notes are just muted notes okay you don't want to do this now you're for example i'm on key c now this is my c this is how the normal major scale sound i'm on key c c major scale and this is how ghost notes sound You can hear the difference one is um muted and the other one is you can hear the sound of the notes so guys if you want to achieve the ghost notes remember whenever you're playing the c major scale your your finger touches the string and the string hit the fretboard always rest on the fretboard when you're playing the normal major scale c major scale okay this you hit the string and the string touches the fretboard now this is your fretboard okay so that's it so but for ghost notes you don't allow the string to rest on the fretboard to touch the fretboard that's ghost note for you so you're just resting on the string and when you pluck, you hear the difference. You just know that this string is muted. It's not really coming out. The sound is not really coming out. Okay, so that's it. That's the ghost note there we are talking about. The ghost note sound we are talking about. Okay, so when you do this, when you practice this, this is different from when you rest the string, when you press the string or you play the string and the string touches the fretboard. So this is the different. Okay. Da, 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 da. One, 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 one. And when you take it up, just rest on it. You won't hear that like you won't hear the sound. So all you'll be hearing is muted sound. Okay, so simple exercise to start achieving that or to start making the fingers to get used to the ghost notes um way of playing it is just keep playing your C major scale, resting on all the string. Just mute all, all the notes. That's just easy way to practice ghost notes. So always have it in mind that the string should not touch the fretboard. The string must not touch the fretboard okay once it touches the fretboard once the string touches the fretboard that's not a ghost note okay so there's big difference so just rest on it rest on the string and block you can hear the ghost note there if i want to play it simple this simple bass line I'm meant to do this. Dun, 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 so, do, mi, fa, so, do, mi, fa, so, do. You can hear the notes. Okay? So, that's not, that's not a ghost note. You're not bringing any groove. You're not bringing any extra notes underneath. You're just going straight. You're just playing straight. Dun, 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 dun. If you want to apply ghost note now on this same bass line, groove, you can do something like this. Dun. 
Now, the notes there, I'm not really hitting, I'm not really pressing down to hit the fretboard is the five. Is the saw in terms of annotation is the five. So I'm doing do mi fa. So I muted the saw. You see, I'm just resting with the pinky finger on the five notes. So that's how you achieve ghost note. Pa, 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 pa. Simple way you can achieve that. So on this praise song, also, if you notice, I apply ghost notes on the praise song. So I was doing this on the praise song. I just walk up to the two, play the ghost note. You can go. You can apply the ghost notes going to the next chord progression you want to touch, you want to play. Okay, so I'm going to my four. I played down. So I started plucking, muting. I started applying the ghost note from the one. One, five, two. Dun, dun. This is my two. This is my one, five, two. Okay, so that's it. So I muted. I applied the ghost note leading me to my two. To my four. Very easy to achieve, and that can go on any praise song at all. Okay, so that's simple way to just start filling in your groove or your bass line using ghost notes underneath so that it won't be that dry and everything whenever you're playing praise song so you're playing praise song you're you're not doing this it's just straight you see the difference now you 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 want to apply ghost note on still that same bass line And you can also give yourself little percussions here, okay? Like you're playing the snare with the drummer. Chap, chap, okay? Now you hear that with the ghost note, together with the ghost note. You can do this also. hear those percussion cha cha dun, 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 dun. so the ghost note comes first that's what i was doing ghost note so if you notice i was playing where my far and saw is that's what the string i'm also hitting to give me that ghost note sound. Dun, 
This is my far. I muted the far. I muted the four first before landing on a six. I muted the four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Muted four. Play the four again to hit the fretboard. Then you move to the six. Same goes to the five. Mute the five first before hitting the five again. Then you go to your seven. So watch the right fingering. I walk down to the four. Do some fingering exercise on the ghost notes and that's it. Whichever scale you're running, just try to mute the notes of the scale. So guys, this is how to start um, practicing ghost notes or start making use of ghost notes when you're playing to a praise song or even worship. You can still apply this. So hope you enjoy this. Um, if you're new to this channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. And do not also forget to turn on the notification bell and if you need private lessons from me every information is right here on the screen and in the description below i look forward to seeing you it's going to be a live zoom section okay so chat me via whatsapp send me an email indicating you want to join the private lesson and let's talk on how you can go about that okay so peace out i will see you in my next video bye